everybody to Roses and Rosé Live. I'm Lauren Zima and we are talking all things Bachelorette, especially all the big Luke versus Luke wars and more that went down on Monday night's episode. And I am joined live this morning by a very special guest. Old Matt Donald is here. Hi, Matt. What? Hey, Lauren. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> Matt, uh, we have so much to talk to you about because, of course, uh, you were sort of unceremoniously sent home on night one. I would say shockingly sent home on night one. But you have been watching and keeping up, and I would imagine you have thoughts on this season. Oh, it's I've been like glued to the television set. It's been it's been really fun to watch. Uh, I'm kind of invested because I've actually seen and met the people who are who are now fighting for Hannah's love so it's been kind of cool to be on the other side even if it was just for a couple of hours and in one night uh it was a really cool experience so uh, I've really enjoyed watching it uh, Matt, I was shocked when you went home on night one because we had seen this intro package of you at your house. We'd met your amazing family. And then all of a sudden you were just gone. I mean, on the one hand, great television because as a viewer, I was shocked and surprised and I didn't see it coming. But on the other hand, uh, how did you feel that night? Were you surprised after the night one that you had and the experience you'd had at that point that you didn't make it past night one? Uh, you know, I surprise probably isn't the right emotion that I had. I was like so sad. I was really bummed out. Um, I was, you know, I was anticipating this, sh you know, going on the show for such a long time uh, that when I didn't get a rose at the end, I was like, man, what an awesome opportunity that I unfortunately, it, it's already ended. So I was just really sad. I don't know if surprise is the right, right word because, you know, I was really nervous. Um, and I think Hannah could kind of sense that and probably didn't show as much confidence as I would have liked. I was going to ask you, what do you think it was? Why didn't you guys click that night? Ah, uh, well, our conversation, I, we literally got done the conversation. I was like, man, I don't even think it was a conversation. It was me talking the whole entire time because I just was so nervous and wanted to fill space and just didn't want any awkward moments. Uh, Fear of silence. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, didn't want any silence whatsoever. So when we got done talking, I, like, walked away and I was like, what did I take from Hannah? And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I, like, didn't, didn't even ask her any questions or anything. So I think well, that's... That first reason. night's so crazy. When you say that conversation, how many minutes did you actually get with her? Uh, I got, like, a, I got like five minutes. Okay. It's all five minutes. Yeah. Which is big on Bachelor and Bachelorette. <laughs> oh, I was, you know what? I was, like, sitting there and I was like, man, nobody's, like, coming to swoop her up for me right now. This is kind of, like, I'm getting some serious time as I'm just rambling on and on about <laughs> ridiculous stuff, like fluffer material. Like what? Just like fluff, like no, oh. there's substance in the conversation, which I'm so like in retrospect, I wish I had a plan like some of these guys did, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go in organic and just like start a conversation and kind of backfired. That's interesting but, when you say a plan, who had a plan and like what what, what were the plans? Yeah, like uh, Connor J, he had that awesome uh, bachelorette idea where he like took her out into the front and they played a bunch of bachelorette games. Uh, I mean, Jed with the guitar, that was genius. Um, I don't know, just like something, like I, I didn't have a plan whatsoever. I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna be myself and talk to her and uh, just, uh, you know what, <laughs> it, it is what it is. I, I enjoyed myself, I'm myself, I was myself, I was treating myself like my mom asked me to be, so. Oh, well we loved, I mean, you had a huge wave of support from fans on night one. A lot of people were saying, is this our new grocery store Joe, uh, where we fell in love with him on night one. Did you see those comparisons and what did you think of them? I I saw the comparisons, but I mean, I, there's there's never gonna be another grocery store Joe. He's, he's like the iconic, you know, first night elimination, like nobody will ever be able to match up to him. I mean, it's a huge compliment though. And like he tweeted out that night and I was so starstruck. I mean, I was freaking out, it was pretty cool. Well, we're seeing here your your kind of intro package. When they came and filmed, did you think, okay, I I'm feeling good here or does everybody have a crew come to their house and film before the show starts? Uh, that's a great question. I remember thinking like, cause I, I, don't, I didn't really know. So like I had no idea if all 30 guys had an intro package or if it was like I was one of the few. 
Uh, so it was pretty, I was like very pleasantly surprised uh, when, you know, it shot to, to me uh, at the very beginning with some of these other guys. So it was really cool. I, I'm really happy they did it. I got to show my family a little bit, which I know they loved. Uh, so it was, it was a lot of fun. Well, Matt, I mean, you know, Grocery Store Joe, he went to paradise and he yeah. found an amazing relationship. Will we yeah. see you in paradise? Ah, uh, it's the million dollar question, isn't it? Uh, I, I honestly have no idea. I don't, I don't know anything personally, so I can't confirm. Uh, if paradise was to happen, I'd love to go. Um, I like how you said if paradise was to happen, like the show's definitely happening. <laughs> well, I mean, if it was, if it was to be presented to me, I, I would probably help. I mean, it's such a, I think it's like a, it's, it's a different organic environment um, that I think I could actually uh, thrive in and hopefully find love. So we'll see. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I hope I go, but I haven't heard anything or gotten any confirmation. Has it been talked about a little bit with you? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's been like little droplets, but like everybody's been getting little little hints here and there about Paradise. So. All right. Well, we hope to see you there. Um, I also wanted to ask you about, you know, you guys' season. Uh, a, a lot of new things have been tried this season, which is great. One of them was that your photos were released really early. These like teal yeah, background photos. Great photos. photos. Great photos. <laughs> they were not great. <laughs> they were not great. Show the pictures, please. <laughs> We, we were as fans we were we were excited we were confused what is that photo it was is that just a picture that like you took yourself where did those pictures come from no so they were actually pictures that uh like our, i think the final interview process they had asked us to um you know just take a photo not thinking that it was going to be like presented to the whole bachelor nation um and gosh, it was like, when I saw it, I was like, oh man, not only me, but like all the guys were like, damn, we all don't look good in these pictures. <laughs> You're turning a little red right now. <laughs> oh, my face always gets red. It always gets red. Well, th that's the thing is then now watching Hannah's season, we've all been like, wow, these guys are all like super good looking and awesome. And I'm not sure those photos did them justice. Like, was that just like you ask your mom or dad to snap a picture for you as the casting process is winding down? It, it might as well, it might as well have been that honestly. <laughs> I'm like yeah, I'm like a Motorola razor. <laughs> uh, I, I have to know, did you guys like text with each other after that after those pictures came out? Were you like, oh my god? Oh yeah, I think I think everyone is. And you know what's funny? Nobody talks about them anymore. Like I'm waiting. I'm like I'm like wanting to see like Twitter like. You know, like what what are those memes like what you ordered versus what you got kind of thing? Like that would be pretty yes. funny. Yes. Instagram Somewhere. versus reality. Trust me, there were many memes at the time, but again, we all were overjoyed on night one of filming when we saw that you were all incredibly handsome men and maybe the photos weren't as as well lit as they could have been in some cases. <laughs> You know, I, I wonder if they, they were doing it on purpose, like just just to kind of see the you know, reaction. Set that bar low. And yeah, then it's exactly. Go high. Well, exactly. you know what? A lot of people had wondered is were the photos released so early, in you know a move that I probably would have uh, thought was a good move to maybe like kind of suss out guys who you know had hidden things from the casting process or guys who weren't so great. Like, and it seemed like that did happen. We didn't see all those guys on night one. Yeah, it was a it was a smart move. I know they're constantly trying to uh, clean out, you know, background checks. I mean, there's only so much they can do, right? When they interview you and they do a pretty thorough background investigation, but uh, you know, there's only so much they can do. So I, it was actually a pretty smart move on their part to kind of filter out a couple of people. And hey, it it made better chance for me to stay <laughs> home last night, but. There's no better background checker than an internet sleuth, and Bachelor Nation okay. has ar has armies of them. Um, wanted to, want to ask you about some of the the guys who, and I'm sorry, but you know, you know, did make it further than you uh, since you were a night wonder. Killing me. <laughs> Um, real quick, I gotta ask you about this guy who, like, people are still talking about. Um, he got the one-on-one, -on -one, and then he sort of unceremoniously disappeared. Uh, Tyler G, were you surprised when you saw that he'd had that first one-on-one -on -one and then went MIA, or did you see that coming? To be honest with you, I, I, I'll be completely honest, I didn't even notice. Uh, people have, like, brought it up on Twitter and stuff like that, but I, I had no idea. You had no idea that he was gonna disappear like that, you mean? Yeah, I no, I like literally didn't even notice the next episode. I was watching and and all of a sudden 
somebody brought it and I was like, oh yeah, I guess I never did see Tyler G there. Yeah, well, it's still that phase where we're, we don't quite know everybody's names and obviously you you didn't probably get to know everybody super well. Uh, uh, it was all small talk. This, the whole night was literally just like small talk. Like, yeah, you know that, like, when you go to like a party and like there's a bunch of people that are talking to you and you just are like filtering them out, just like making small talk to look like you're being social like that. <laughs> that's kind of what the first night was. Well, who have you maybe reconnected with or stayed in touch with? Like, who of the guys are you friends with now? Yeah, I mean, I, I like to think like all the guys, but I'll be honest, it's it's the night one guys. Like, uh, the Box King is awesome. Joe, uh, Chase yeah. is like a nice guy. Hunter, I mean, all the guys. Brian, uh, Thomas. Uh, I love and then, it. Like, so essentially, Hunter, the guys who really were were let go on night one, you guys bonded together. Oh, for sure. I mean, how could you not? Like, we had we were like, well, we're all in this together, so we might as well kind of embrace it a little bit. So. Like and it was some good guys. You, Chase and the Pilot, Joe the Box King. Like, I hope to see yeah. all of you in paradise, truly. Oh, that would be awesome. Gosh, it'd be like a little reunion. That'd be fun. <laughs> uh, anybody else who was not just a night one guy, but you've, you've gotten close with from the experience? Yeah, like guys like Dylan, Devin, um, Connor J. He's super cool. Um, just like, I hope to get to know him a lot more. So we'll see. Like, everyone seemed really, really cool, though, in the house. So that Can was like I one ask? of the things. Has anyone talked to Tyler G? Uh, not that I know of, no. Yeah. Um, Want to ask you about another controversial figure. I'm guessing you know who's coming. Yeah. Luke P. Uh, he has been uh, undoubtedly probably the biggest storyline of the show so far. I, I interviewed Hannah, and she even said, yes, he's, he's a huge part of my season. She said he was both her strongest physical attraction and also that overall he's the guy who makes her cry the most this season, um, which is, you know, kind of wild. Uh, what has been your take watching these episodes unfold and watching Luke P.? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, I, I I can't put myself in in that position of like where he's coming from. Uh, I would imagine like, I, you know, I don't know. Like, I I I was kind of curious how I would act if you know I was fighting for love with twenty nine other guys um, and it was getting physical, like in a in a rugby match. Like, I like to think I would have like just had fun with it, but I mean, who knows? Like, I. I it's it's so hard to put yourself in that position. So I mean, yeah, I, he definitely is. I think he's kind of like watching it, and he's he's like, dang, like I probably shouldn't. I probably went a little overboard. Um, or he's like, yeah, I killed it. I don't know. It's, it's well, kind of yeah. I mean, he actually went on Instagram. I think we have his Instagram. If we want to pull it up, and he said, look, I kind of want to address. Uh, what's going on here? I have, he said, quote, I have learned a lot and am continuing to learn about my flaws as a man. I'm the first to admit I am far from perfect. Although I will say that's kind of in contradiction to what he's been saying on the show. He's just saying like, he's the guy for Hannah and there's no other guys. Um, you know, but he said he, he's trying to grow and mature. And that was about a week ago, but even just this week, um, I saw like Tyler C on his Instagram stories was, uh, you know, kind of poking fun or, or, or making comments about Luke P. Uh, Jed in comments on his Instagram called him puke P. <laughs> so it seems like the other guys don't necessarily have good relationships with him right now. What have you heard about all that, if anything? Uh, I mean, pretty much I'm seeing everything that you guys are seeing on Instagram. Uh, I'm, ass I'm assuming that the guys don't don't really get along with him very well, uh, not just from watching the show, but yeah, like social media and stuff like that. Uh, but like, I haven't personally talked to any of the guys about any of the other contestants. Like, what's your reaction on Luke or or Cam or whoever it might be? Well, let me ask you: Were you as shocked as the rest of us last night, Monday night's episode, when Luke P tells Luke S to his face, "Hey, yeah, you were. I, I was wrong. You're not here for the wrong reasons, and I'm gonna go tell Hannah the truth." And then he goes and tells Hannah. Luke S is here for the wrong reasons, like just frankly a lie. What were you right. thinking watching that? I mean, honestly, Lauren, I was like, well, like there's cameras everywhere. How, how, like, do you, do you like realize that it's gonna, it's gonna reveal itself that you're lying? Like, I, I don't know. Uh, I wasn't there long enough, but apparently, you know, it's, it's like moving furniture. Like you, you just don't know this anymore, but like I, he had to have known that his words were going to be skewed when you talk to Hannah. So I, I don't know. It's interesting. I wonder what was going through his head. 
I was just like balling my fists up Luke P style and <laughs> screaming at the screen. I wanted to say, like, when Hannah came into the room and got them, I wanted to say, guys, stick up for him. Like, I wanted one of the other guys to say, Hannah, Luke P is lying to you right now. We all just heard him say something different to Luke S. And I was sort of shocked that they didn't. Yeah. No, I know. I, I'm, I'm like, so I'm dying to know, like, if Luke P or Luke S are going to get cut uh, next week. Like, the, the cliffhanger was great because that was, like, my biggest thing. I was trying to figure out what Hannah was thinking and how she was reacting. We were left on a cliffhanger. Uh, I want to just kind of show some B-roll, and we'll talk through some of the other front runners here quick as we wind down. But, you know, a lot of people talking about the amazing other pilot, not Chasen, but Pete, pilot Pete. Yeah. Um, and Jed and Tyler C. And we can just kind of show them and, and talk about them a little bit. But uh, who do you think is really winning Hannah's heart at this point? That's a great question. Tyler C. kind of came out of nowhere last night because he he didn't really get a lot of camera time the first two episodes. Um, but, like, I think Jed for sure. I mean, uh, he's he's kind of – I don't, I don't want to speak on behalf of Hannah, but, like, I can tell she's totally into him. Uh, the way she looks at him and stuff like that. So I would probably say Jed's the front runner um, right now, at least. And then, you know, Pilot Pete, uh, Tyler C. I'm trying to think who else. Mike. Mike's Mike's like the realest dude on the show right now. He's he's killing it. <laughs> Mike is I just want Mike's, you know, I want Mike to like be inserted into any reality TV show anywhere for him to just call people out like, dude, BS, oh. you're a psychopath. Like Mike does not mince words. And and the thing is, he's like so like legit. Like he, he everything he says is accurate, which is what I love. Like he's not just saying it to say like to be that controversial figure. Like he has legit reason to call people out. Well, Matt, you know we are again gonna hope to see you in paradise. But I guess in that vein, I'll ask you: Are you dating anyone right now? I am not dating anyone right now. No, I'm just watching The Bachelorette. That's like <laughs> you're like I'm not doing anything. I'm just hanging out at home watching The Bachelorette. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. And like social media has been pretty cool. Like I never I never was, had a social media presence before. And, you know, it's been it's been fun. So I'm just kind of enjoying it right now and just going with the flow. Have you gone on any dates since you left the show? I have not. No, <laughs> I, think, I think part of it's like, I don't know, it's just like, I don't want people to be like, oh, I'm going on a date with old Matt Donald. Like I, I wouldn't wouldn't want people to to see it as that. So I don't know. I just kind of letting it simmer for a little bit, enjoying the moment uh, and, and not really like going out on any dates or anything like that. Well, I mean, I think that's kind of why bachelor nation breeds relationships because you can understand the experience that someone else went through because you've both been on the show and it gets a little bit harder to date once you've been on the show to just date, you know, a normal person. Right. Um, what about say you were to go on paradise any other women in Bachelor Nation who you would hope to see on those sunny sands of Mexico? Uh, anybody from Colton's season who went home who you might have had your eye on other than Hannah? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Uh, you know, you're going to hate this, Lauren. Uh, I don't, there's not really anyone in particular that like, I, I just think it's hard to see on a television screen the connection and chemistry. So, I mean, in terms of attraction, that box is going to be checked. It's just, you know who okay who's, who checked you know, the attraction box for you all of them all of them that i think are going so like kaylin tasia uh hannah g uh gosh who else who else do i think is going Th those ones like they're, they're they all check the boxes. okay you were just into like colton's top five like you just loved <laughs> the top five <laughs> pretty much yeah and hannah b yeah <laughs> All right, Matt, we are going to wrap up with you here. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, everybody. Matt Donald loves, you know, his his new social media presence and the support from you guys. So follow him on Instagram. Yeah, and sure. of course, Roses and Rosé Live is here with a different special Bachelor Nation guest every Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. Pacific on ET Live. Plus, our recap of the entire episode from Monday night will be up this afternoon on our YouTube channel and of course, watch The Bachelorette Monday nights on ABC. This season is fire, even though Matt Donald got sent home on night one. And ratings are up for good reason. It's a seriously good season of the show, the best one in a while. Matt, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, Lauren. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys.